Greetings everybody, it's Patty here. Today I'm going to be making a video about the Schumann Resonances and um, uh, I'm going to show you a couple things here. I'll get back to this article in a minute. But what I have noticed is that uh, people are complaining about getting a ringing in their ears and they don't seem to understand what's going on. So this is where I'm going to start this video. Okay. And it does, it does have something to do with the Schumann resonance, resonances and uh, the heartbeat of the earth and the pulses and all that good stuff. So let's go on to why are people hearing this ringing in their ears. So I'm going to play this. I'll enlarge it. Hold on. Hey, what's up, guys? I make this video. Has anybody heard a ringing in their ears lately? Well, see this line right here? Check that. This is a, this is called a spectrogram. It's it's picking. This is actually moving right now. Hey, hello. See? Well, you see how that works? So this is a steady line up here. I'm sorry, this phone isn't staying focused, but okay, here you go. So we're going to go up there, line it up, see what the frequency is in hertz. And I'm getting approximately, see, 8344 hertz, okay? All right, so now we're going to go over here, hold on, to tone generator. And then we're going to put in 8344, or about there. It's hard because this, as soon as you let your hand off the slider, it kind of jumps around. All right, 80, all right now I'm going to fade it in. Oh, 83. See what I'm saying? Every time you, if you upgrade to the other version, you're, you're able to just type it in. But we're going to do free today. All right. All right, here we go. So I'm going to play the sound. I don't know if the phone microphone's going to pick it up, but here we go. the same exact tone that's showing up on the other program. So that means that it's actually a real tone. See, here we go again. See it up there? All right, so I just wanted to let you know that if you, if people are telling you it's tinnitus and all this other stuff like thyroid I even heard or whatever, you could check it yourself to see if it's actually a real sound, and I found that it is. Now, just for the heck of it, I'm going to go over here, and then we're going to play this. Now, oh, I need to, sorry. I forgot the iPad, it's important. Alright, so I'm going to play this song right now, just this one part, now check it out. This is a song by Aphex Twin called Equation, and this is like the very end of it, but check it out, ready? Here we go. Crazy. But check it out yourself, guys. Wow, did you see the, the face that that song made? That's kind of spooky. But this would explain the ringing in people's ears, the 8344 hertz. Now I want to go on to this article. Okay, hold on. Let me enlarge. First, I want you to take notice that this is not from Wikipedia. Okay, this is from Ascension Glossary. The Schumann Resonances. All living organisms interact and interconnect with electromagnetic waves, and all of the Earth's inhabitants have the memory of the original Earth-based DNA, which is the resonant to the low-frequency waves emitted by the Schumann Resonances into the Earth's atmosphere. The Schumann Resonances are, set up, are a set of spectrum peaks in the extremely low-frequency portion of the Earth's electromagnetic field, which is similar to say that these pulses are the heartbeat of the planet. For this reason, most people will be extremely open to conduct these waves of electromagnetic signaling through their bioneurology that is stimulated by these extremely low frequencies such as 7.83 Hz, which became known to be the measurement of the fundamental range of these waves on Earth. 
This range of low frequency is commonly produced by the human brain when relaxed or in alpha or theta states. Extremely low frequency of radio waves that are artificially or naturally generated can phase these same frequencies yeah, can phase with these same frequencies in the human body, having an array of impacts on human electromagnetic signals, which can further affect brain waves and the state of consciousness. For the first time in recorded history, the Schumann resonances have... Did you hear that? For the first time in recorded history, the Schumann resonance has reached frequencies of 36 plus and is heading for a maximum spike level of 50 hertz which uh, is actually more than that and I'll show you in a minute it's way higher than 50 this is a big deal and yet there is no publicly provided information on how this spike is impacting earth's geomagnetic field and how it's radically affecting the human body Three years ago in 2014, when the Schumann resonance frequency had risen to the 15 to 25 hertz levels from its usual 7.83 frequency, it was considered a strange anomaly that was occurring to Earth. The Earth's frequency is speeding up and this greatly impacts all the functions of the human brain, as well as impacting the heartbeat and breathing rhythm. As the Schumann frequency is accelerating quickly through these consecutive magnetic spikes, the acceleration contributes to time and spatial disorientation, as many of us feel like time is sped up and events and changes in our life are happening much more quickly. Uh, I think so. Events and changes in our life are happening a lot more quickly than they were before. Everybody can see that. Anybody with eyes can see that events are happening much more quickly. Now, on to the Heart Math Institute live data. I'm going to leave the link to these below. This is actually a spectrogram calendar, all right, which I've been looking at. And um, it bas basically is Earth's EKG, all right. This top row. Let's, let's go. Let's go forward. Okay. Okay. So it ends on the twenty fifth. Um, it updates every twenty four hours. So this top row is the United States. Okay. Um. Oh uh, oh two is actually Saudi Arabia. Which, um obviously has been blacked out and I'll go back a little bit and you can see Saudi Arabia kind of flatlined out there on May 11th all the black right there okay let's get to current date this is really interesting so let's take this one this kind of goes along with what that uh, the video was showing about the spikes, okay? Um, let's go back. But let me go down to this one. This one is more interesting. Well, I shouldn't say more, but this one is showing you exactly. Let's get rid of all of them. No, nope, I don't want any of them. This one, 001, was the United States. So, let's see. It, you can see, 1112, look at that. We are well above the 50 hertz, right there. 1110 at, the, at 3 o'clock, Friday morning. It was 110. Now look back over here on May 5th at 10 o'clock, it got up to 148. So see, we are bypassing that 50 hertz. Now, 
Let's see, 004, there's a lot of activity here. 004 is Canada. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one, the United States. Okay, I'm going to put in Canada. Look at that. They are reaching up there. I can't move my cursor. But look in the red. C or GCI004 on May 4th. I don't know military time offhand. It reached, the Schumann resonance reached 259 hertz. Okay, so this is the EKG of the United States. Now, as you can see, for some reason down here, May 18th, USA got down to a, to a 3. But look at that, 201. We're looking at the red one now, the red line. Okay. See, as you can see, even the United States in the blue line, well above that 50 hertz anybody was even talking about. Look at that. Okay. But I think you get the point. Look at this. Now let's get them all in there. Okay, so. This one, 006, it's at the bottom. You can see the 317. <laughs> That's off the charts, man. All of those numbers are off the charts. So 006, I think, was Africa. Yes. Reached 318 on May 10th. Right now... Uh, you can just, just look at all the numbers. Remember, 002 with a zero is flatline Saudi Arabia. But look at all these other numbers. Okay. Just look at them all. They're all above 50 hertz. Okay. And again, yes, this can cause ringing in the ears. All right. Right now, this is the last one that was recorded, which was May 26th. I can't tell the time. I can't, it won't, won't load. Um, May 26th at 4 o'clock in the morning. That's where everything was. The United States was at 110 hertz. Saudi Arabia flatlined. Uh, 003... Uh, Lithuania, uh oh four, Canada, let me see, and uh oh five, New Zealand, and uh oh six, South Africa. So, look at these, look at these numbers. Way, way off the chart. The Earth's heartbeat is heart. <laughs> the Earth's heart is beating and pulsating rapidly, meaning we are on the verge of a mass awakening. And yes, you will have symptoms. Uh, me, I've been sleeping a lot lately. I mean, I'm chronically fatigued, uh, even though I'm getting like eight to ten, you know, no, I, why should I say ten? Eight hours of sleep, all right? So I wanted to bring this to your attention. I thought this was extremely fascinating. Anyways, I, again, I will leave the link to this. This is Earth's EKG. Okay, right here. Uh, there's more down here, but I haven't quite figured this stuff out. And that. But anyways, I wanted to bring this up to your attention because not too many people are talking about this. All right, anybody? All right. Sorry. <laughs> dry mouth, too much coffee, not enough water. Well, that's it for, for this time, and until next time, thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.